Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys. Freestyle, general read, timeless as well. Whenever this video finds you, it's probably the right time in which you need this message. Universe, what is, what are the most relevant, accurate, and important messages for Pisces? Alright guys, some of you have been thinking about buying citrine crystals or some kind of decor that has citrine crystals or like a big ass citrine crystal, do it. This is your confirmation. Obviously that is not going to resonate with almost none of you, but the message is coming through. All right, Eight of Pentacles. Pisces, right now you may have a lot of work. You may be very focused on your responsibilities. You may be very focused on the things that are important to you at this time. It's I'm getting this feeling of like rewards flowing in, but like you not being able to even pay that much attention to them because you are working. It's like <laughs> Billie Eilish when she got her Grammys or something. I don't know why, but she wasn't there. She was asleep. When she was nominated, I don't know, I don't know. But she was asleep and someone like woke her up like, hey, you won a Grammy or something or like, <laughs> and she was like, oh my God, that's great. And she continued to sleep because she had to work in the morning. You know what I mean? Like that kind of situation. And this is what I'm feeling for you. It's like, you're going to be so invested in the day-to-day -day progress that it's like rewards are going to be raining on you, but you're still going to be focused on what you're doing. <laughs> the challenge could be here, the emperor. So you may have an Aries person in your life um, who could be in one way or another blocking a situation or representing a challenge. This could be someone who's trying to catch your attention Maybe for another reason, but ultimately distracting you from what you're doing. It's like, what I'm seeing here is you super focused doing your thing. Someone here demanding your time and attention. Could be a friend, lover, but I'm getting strongly like a parent, kind of like you need to come spend New Year's here or you need to do this, that, or the other, and you're like, ah, oh, I'm busy. They're kind of killing your vibe. <laughs> Could be an Aries person, doesn't have to be. In the recent past, you have definitely seen some progress, Pisces, in regards to your efforts. So you feel like something perhaps opened up, and before you made a lot of efforts and nothing would happen. And now you feel like all the efforts that you put in actually bring in the rewards that you want. Or you're getting a feeling that that's kind of what's coming around the corner. In the recent past, you may have also learned a lot of lessons in regards to boundaries and what's fair, both to you and others. And as I said that, the, the timer on the video was 333. Confirmation right there. Um, you learn not to give way too much to the point of depletion. You learn not to invest in something if the other person is not investing into it just as much. You have learned to identify what is right and what is wrong about opening up and sharing the healthy balance. And because of that, now, in the present moment, you are investing a lot of your energy. You're working hard. You're going for it. You're going all in. And it's because now you know that when you manifest your rewards, you know how to deal with them. You know how to handle them. You know how to maximize them. Right now, you're putting in a lot of effort, okay? There is a lot in your to-do list. You're very, very focused to the point of slight overwhelm. But in the future, you're gonna have a chance to stop and breathe and evaluate your inspiration. 
I'm getting that in the near future, you're gonna have a moment like these moments of calm before the storm. And when I mean storm, I mean it the best way possible. A storm of rewards falling like rain onto you. <laughs> but before that comes in, it's like you have a moment. And you're going to be just sort of like sensing how the energy shifts. It's like you're gonna be in a moment maybe quiet, maybe just thinking about something else and all of a sudden you're gonna get this energy of like, oh my god, there's something's coming. And in the present moment you're gonna be at peace and ease and just like everything's fine. But it's like you get this sense like something's coming. The best way I could describe it is like, I mean, I've never been in a hurricane, thank God. Um, but from what I understand, the eye of the storm is a calm place. I mean, in comparison to the outer kind of like spherical energies, you know, moving. Um, so it's, I'm almost getting like you're in the eye of the storm and everything is silent and everything is quiet and you've, recently went through like a lot of like dramatic stuff in the last couple of years and now you're like breathing and you know that this is a moment of peace that you haven't experienced but you also know that it's like any moment now the storm is gonna come back and when i mean storm i really don't mean the difficulties that you have experienced in the past. I mean movement. I mean change and shifts of energy and this and that and the other things happening all over. The busyness, the the the, the buzz. And you're just silent, observing, waiting. Another way to express what I'm feeling right now, it's like, I don't know if this has ever happened to you. It has happened to me. All of a sudden, you're, you know, in bed, you're sleeping. You wake up. And you feel almost like the energy kind of like building up, building up, building up. And a few seconds later, you know, a um, small earthquake. I think earthquake is another word for it. Like a little earth shake <laughs> happens and you're like wow like that's how animals feel it you know they start getting all rattled up and then two hours later you realize that it's raining or that the earth is shaking or something you know it's like that pre-meditation like that pre i don't know how to explain it that's that's the, the best i can do you guys but that's what i think you're gonna be feeling you know that something important is coming in. But what is it? Abundance, independence, prosperity, success, freedom. Adventure, love, connection. It's, I'm having a hard time explaining the sensation. I'm seeing like a ticking bomb. Like the last seconds, you know, three, two, one, you know. But it's like a bomb of goodness, <laughs> if that makes sense. It's not like a bomb that, it's not a tower moment, it's not something that will bring you stress. It's something that, it's like, <laughs> bear with me guys, please be patient, I'm trying. <laughs> um, let's see. No, you know, I'm good. I think I, I, I expressed it the best I could. Sorry guys, if this is not as complete or as in depth as other readings are, I just, 
feel this energy of you kind of like being like waiting for it, just kind of like waiting for it. And that happening in the near future, whereas in the present, you're focused, you're working, you're doing your thing. And then you're just kind of like waiting for it. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy, Aries, Leo, Sag energy, strongly Aries. I also get like someone having like a secret or having some kind of information. Let's say that you have always been in love with someone, that person has always been in love with you, but for whatever reason you're not together. Um, they're married to someone else, you're married to someone else, whatever. And then this person becomes very burdened by that. They take a moment to think about it and they choose to like confess their love and like tell their partner and get divorced and it's just like, <gasps> you know, the hurricane, right? And they know that they're going to do this and they know that that's going to be a bomb. And they're just kind of like waiting for it, waiting for it. And they know that when the time is right and when things get unleashed, they are going to... Make everything explode. <laughs> so they kind of know. It's like they know that things are going to blow up. So they're just kind of like in a moment of analyzing when it's going to be the best moment. Wild, you guys. Really wild. This, is one, this one was kind of cryptic. Um, but I have posted a lot of other ones, uh, other readings today, so you can check those out if you like. Our contest is still going. Anything you have bought from the 15th, 15th to the 30th, or anything you buy, um, immediately makes you a participant in the contest. You can win access to our full website, Lifelong Access, and a refund for whatever product you chose to buy to enter the contest. But at the same time, um, I'm going to be opening four additional spots for forecasts, year-long forecasts, personalized. Those are $250. It's a reading that goes to around an hour 15. Um, it's kind of like 12 small readings because I do a reading per each month of next year. And in this case, since they're going to be received by you, if you book now, probably like around mid-January to the end of January, they're going to be actually from February 2022 to February 2023. So it's going to be 12 months, just a little, you know, move to the side. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, you can reach out to us and occupy one of those spaces. After that, I'm probably going to close personalized readings altogether for a while. It has been a little intense. All right, my loves, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.